die. My hood nigga, we don't die for shot and cheese. Yeah, I shot. Real yeah, smoke. I used to let my close partner keep his chopper in my house. I'm here with the incomparable, the man, Freddie Gibbs, Freddie Gaxton Gibbs, man. Welcome to New York. Appreciate you coming through, man. Yeah, New York also. Awesome. So, you know, this isn't the first time you've been on this sauce, but no, no, you definitely, no, no. this is definitely the year of gyms. You're definitely making a hell of a lot of noise this year. Definitely, we appreciate man. everything that you're doing for the culture, for hip hop in general. So, let's get into it, man. I mean, what's, what's been going on in, 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 let's call it Gibbs World. We'll call it Gibbs World. The CTE World. The CTE World. You know what I'm saying? Let's talk about the chain of day. Let's talk about the deal. How did You know, I mean, pretty much, uh, you know, uh, you know this, we've been in talks for this was just something that just unraveled, you know, the way I, I wanted it to unravel, you know what I mean? Jeezy, uh, you know, definitely one of the guys in the game that I respect and, and look up to. So, uh, you know, it was a no-brainer, you know what I mean? I didn't, uh, you know, jump jump on board because, you know, he had, you know, platinum records or, you know, or the hottest single out on the radio or whatnot. It was for the money and none of that. It was, you know, strictly out of uh, you know, respect type of thing. And, uh, you know, and, uh, that I got from his, his music. And I feel like, you know, his uh, knowledge of music can take me to the next level. You know, you know basically that's steroids to what I got. I threw the short side for um, you, had, you had some some words for, for Lil B, is that right? <laughs> can we go into that yeah, a little bit? Let, 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 let's, let's talk about your outlook on Lil B and why, and why you said what you said. I'll talk to Lil B this morning. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, uh, I, t- I told him, you know, basically, like, I, you know, I don't agree with, you know what I mean, the gimmick shit and the message shit you was putting out there. So I said what I said about it. You know, it was definitely not no, uh, the whole people here was not no, like, beef type shit. Like, it would be not a threat. You know what I mean? I just, you know, had my opinion on the topic and I expressed that. If you were to come face to face with Bin Laden, what would you say to Bin Laden right now? What would I say to Bin Laden? Yeah. That's what we need so, You know what I mean? I don't have nothing. I mean, you know, I don't know what this country did to Bin Laden and his people. You know what I mean? The government got too many motherfucking secrets, man. If they start letting us in on you know exactly what they're doing, then maybe I could, you know, uh, be, you know be down with whatever they're doing. But I, I, I can't get down with it because they have so much shit from the American people. You don't know what they did to open up. I mean, you know, something like that. I don't even think I'm justifying nothing he does with that Al-Qaeda shit, you know what I mean? I he killed some of his own people and all of that. I'm not, you know what I mean, justifying that. But shit, we kill our own people over there. You know what I mean? America, shit, we built this motherfucking country off black people being slaves for 400 years. It ain't been no repayment for that shit. It ain't been no, you know what I mean, the government ain't punished themselves for that. What up, man? It's your boy Freddie Gibbs, working at CTE. Checking out the source.com. Fuck with